This part work has been supplied to me free of charge from fanhome.com. Please pop along to their website and see all of the other build-up part works that they have to offer, as well as other collections of collectible things. I would like to thank Fan Home for providing me with the part work so I can produce these videos for your enjoyment and educational needs. If you'd like to build one of your own, pop along to fanhome.com. They're available in many countries worldwide. If you do want to build one, leave a note in the comments to let me know how you're getting on. And let me know how I'm getting on as well. I'd like feedback of all types. So thank you once more to Fan Home for providing me with this kit. I hope you enjoy the build. Let's get on with it. Hello, I'm Chris. This is Gross Models. Welcome to the beginning of pack eight of building the Eleanor. This is issue 27. Uh, so I've got the parts from last time and the parts from this time. I had to very carefully look at the instructions to see which way round things go because it doesn't actually show you very clearly. Uh, but so you know, if I've got it right, um, the keyed in part, the, the wider bit is at the top opposite these posts. And they go together like so onto the screws that we put in there last time. Uh, so that goes that way round. And then when that fits onto our bracket thing there, that bit goes towards the, the groovy bit like so. But we can't put it on there yet because we've got to put this together first uh, and it goes together using four of the 05 screws. Let's get some of those out. One, two, three. One more of them would be lovely. Here we go. I'll keep that one there safe. I shall grab a screwdriver because that's always useful for putting the screws in. Uh, two of these in either side, obviously, you know exactly where they're going to go. That one goes in there. Put the other one in the other side, just the same. And then two more. Towards the ends there, which hold it together. Uh, now, this is obviously mainly plastic. Uh, and all the wheels are going to fit onto it, but it... It's almost certainly going to be fine. I would have been happier if it had some more metal stability to it, but I'm sure it'll be lovely. I feel they've worked it out and made sure it is as it should be. So I'm, I'm fairly confident that it will be all right. Would have been happier with a little bit clearer instructions as to which way around these things go. The black against black is uh, not the easiest thing to see, especially for me at the moment, but uh, hopefully Nobody else is having exactly the same issues that I am having seeing things like that. So that's that. I'm going to need two of these other screws. The uh, 11 screws, which are a bit heavier and they've got the built-in washer sort of thing onto those. Uh, and we're going to be fitting the springs to that. That's nice and easy. We're putting the springs on there. And then that fits onto there. like that it's an interesting way of doing suspension it's different to all of the others but it will work it will it will do the job but this will go through there and hold that in place that will obviously do the same on the other side Just like so, so that tightens up, and uh, we'll still spring in because that spring will uh, let that pass through underneath. So that needs to tighten up fully onto the post, just like so. And that one obviously does the same on the other side. So you've got the interesting sprung system. 
yeah, it's different, but it does the job. And that gives you some suspension there when the wheels are on. So that is that. That's the first issue done. Uh, next time, I think we're continuing working on this for a little while. So uh, I shall see you for that very soon. Uh, other than that, there are other part works available on the channel. And I shall see you for something else tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Stay safe. Bye bye for now.